Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, good morning boys. <laughs> it is a Vlogmas Day 4. Right now, I'm getting ready to wash my hair. I just put in the Olaplex number 0 and number 3. So while that is soaking into my hair, we're going to get started with Vlogmas Day 4. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. But today is actually a Sunday. Um... And as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, I am heading to New York this week and I just feel like if I have a lot of stuff to do, so instead of leaving packing for the night before, because I literally can't, um, I'm getting started with my packing today. I really wanted to get started yesterday, but it just didn't work out like that. I'm still in yesterday's clothes. I literally just fell asleep on my bed. So here we are getting it started. Currently it is 8.21 a.m. This has been in my head since like around 8 this morning. So we're gonna get started with the packing. So this is a pack with me, as you would have seen already by the title. Um, <clears throat> again, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, go ahead and do so, but a little backstory. Even though I have been to New York at least three times before, I've never been during the cold season. And so I've never really had to dress for winter, even, you know, and anytime I would have gone to the States, it would have usually been like, july august or even earlier on in the year the coldest it's ever been for me well actually i have been to atlanta and it was pretty cool like i used to see the um with the breath um but i was also very much a child <laughs> and i was not in control of my clothes really so the my issue now is that well one it's cold i've never really had to dress or shop for winter um but also we have to be serving looks so <laughs> I have a few pieces that I've already pulled from like my closet um, and I did do a little shopping this weekend gone because it is Black Friday so thankfully you know there were sales on some stuff so we're gonna go ahead and get started packing um, the hardest thing personally would be the day-to-day -day outfits um, because like what does one wear to brunch or dinner or to see the rockets in winter Anyway, so I pretty much rose out every day. Um, we're gonna be going from the Friday to the next Thursday. Well, it's really Friday to Wednesday because the Thursday we're just gonna be in the airport from like 3 a.m. Um, so I wrote out everything. So far we only have some things like specified like um, in terms of events. So on the Sunday we're gonna see the Rockets probably will have dinner before then so that'll be like one outfit and then the same friday we arrive we might go to like this para and kind of lime on that day which um like that was a, i think that's a, it would have to be an indoor event but again like what do you wear so i'm gonna just take some pieces and we'll see what happens and then like the other days will be shopping so i would definitely need like some comfortable outfits to wear the entire day like the vibe is obviously comfort because we probably will be like out all day but also cute edgy you know so let's go over here so this is the suitcase that i have and that i'm taping here we go the plan is to oh wait i actually have to find another suitcase so that's that suitcase and then i also have this suitcase which would be like my carry-on um the vibe is or was to put this in here for us to go well to go you know so i'll just check in one bag um and then i'll have the extra space when we're coming back because i'll most likely need it my only issue is i need slash want to carry my laptop because i have all these videos to edit and this is the bag I got from Aldo that I showed you guys yesterday, um, that's going to be like my travel bag. But my laptop can't really fit in here. That's a lie. It definitely fits. Oh, but it doesn't fit with the case. It definitely won't fit with the case. So I'll figure that out over the next few days, but I was going to say that since my laptop can't fit in here, I'll probably have to walk with the carry-on from Trinidad to go up. Um, 
to leave my laptop in there, but seeing as it fits, I think I'll be fine. So I'll figure that out. That's gonna be one of the last few things that I figure out. Um, but let's get into the packing of the stuff. So I haven't really planned out all the outfits per se. My lips are so dry, you. I haven't really planned out all the outfits per se. But um, I have some stuff going on, so I'm gonna show you guys that. It would be cool if I tried on the outfits and showed you, but no. So, I have this dress that I would have bought from 212 location. So it's just like this, and I'm thinking I could probably wear this with either like some leggings and a big like coat to throw over, maybe a scarf, or if not the leggings, maybe like a thigh high boots or high boots. Um, but same, you know, jacket vibe um, and scarf. And I could probably wear this to like dinner and go see the Rockets. So that could probably be an option. So I'm taking this to shop. Then like I said, I did some shopping. So I bought this pants again in, let me pull you down. I bought these joggers from 212. So this is what it looks like. And it has kind of like a velvet it's so really soft like oh my gosh it's so soft so i'll probably travel in this and pair that with this sweater which is from a local brand um so it's just like a white sweater local that's the only brand so i was thinking to wear this with this and i actually tried this on last night and it looked really cool giving me like cool girl vibes <laughs> so um, it is a midnight flight, most likely gonna sleep so that we'll be awake the next day. So I'm thinking to wear those two together and then pair that with these Adidas Stan Smiths that I got from Raw, which is a store in West Mall. So that's the vibe for that outfit. Or maybe, honestly, because this shoe is more comfortable, I might wear this one instead to the airport. But I might most definitely repeat that outfit as one of the shopping day outfits. And then if that's, if I do that, then I'll wear the Stan Smith with that. But that is the vibe for that. So those are there. Next, I got this skirt once again from 212. Again, it has that kind of soft, kind of velvet touch uh, material. And honestly, you guys, I don't wear skirts. Um, because like if you look like if you like I you would have never seen me in a short skirt because honestly there's so much work like I hate to feel like I'm pulling down my skirt every two minutes and that's what happened as I was saying I like when I used to work go to work and stuff um, I would I specifically remember I had the same skirt a medium and a large and a medium fit me but with walking it would scoot up and so I got the large and the same thing was happening and honestly it's just real annoying it's so annoying like I look at people like girls with their big booties wearing like short skirts and short dresses I'm just like how are you wearing that like it's just uncomfortable to me but I saw the skirt and I was like well maybe we could try something new so <laughs> This skirt was um, 155 and it's a size medium. The large fit, but obviously you could tell it was a little bit too big, so this one definitely fit me proper. Um, and well, bam, bam, 212 has one 20% off this weekend. So, yeah, so I got this and I'm thinking, I'm not too sure what top I will wear with it just yet. Um, but this could definitely look good with some like tall boots um, some tall my computer my laptop just doesn't work anyway so this with some tall boots um, a big like jacket throw over like I'm starting I'm thinking maybe to get a black coat that's kind of long so that oh so that it will come down to like hair on me so I'll be like 
you know, I'll kiss you with my thing. Um, and even if I don't get um, high boots, maybe I could still like wear leggings underneath it with um, boots up to here, maybe. So that's the going in there. Before I forget, I got this jacket from London Clothing about two weeks ago when my friends and I went to Luna because they also had a sale two weeks ago whenever that was so this is like my I want to say puffer but it's not really too much of a puffer to be honest but this is what I was studying to wear to travel this is the first jacket of this kind that I have ever owned like I've never owned one like this before <laughs> So honestly, maybe I could wear this with this skirt, but we'll see how it goes. I want like a coat, like an actual coat. This is to me is a jacket. I want a coat. So that is that. Um, and then I showed you all this sweater that I got. So I'm studying. I could probably wear this with some jeans. Um, and then I got these shoes from Aldo. So I could go for like a little preppy vibe that day with this top with the um, front kind of tucked into the jeans, these shoes, and then I'll use my black aldo bag. Not this one, but I'll show you guys in a second. Well, maybe not a second because we are still sleeping and he told me last night not to wake him up. <laughs> so, but yeah, so these two I think could definitely go together and I showed you guys these yesterday. So yeah then I also showed you all this shirt which I will be taking because I think um, even though it is kind of like a light material um, I could probably like wear a tank like a camisole under for the warmth um, I mean wear this with a pair of jeans and again a boot or something and that could be like an evening thing or even if we go for like brunch on a one day, um, this could probably be a really nice brunch option, which I think that's probably what this is for me. So this is gonna be my brunch option. Okay, so let's head back to this because that's the only clothes I have that's out here right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna do more, oh, that's a lie. That is a hot lie because I have clothes in it. So all of those are like the new clothes and then I did have some stuff in my actual closet that I thought would be effective. So I have this shirt that I would have bought from Mickles a while ago. Um, you guys, I don't know if you guys would have seen this but I definitely wore this in my house and took pictures with it so that's on my Instagram. But I'm not too sure how I would really style it, but I'm still going to carry it because it is long sleeve. Look, I've had this for a while and the tag is literally still on it. So that's going to go in there and then I have this Adidas sweater that I got from Ross sometime. So I'm going to carry that because honestly, yo, if it's cool, I get cool. Like, I will be cold. Like, if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be cold. There's no two ways about it. I will be cold. So, so far, I only have like long sleeve options in there. I really don't know if to take any like basic. Like, just in case, you know, I might take like two options that in case it's not too cold during the day, maybe I could get away with wearing whatever underneath whether it be short sleeve or whatever and then I could get away with just wearing a coat over it you know maybe that could be a vibe someday but I think if that's the case I might get that top while I'm there because I don't really think I have any options that I really am dying to carry so that's actually it that's funny so those are basically the tops and then oh I have the dark jeans I have two pairs of jeans three pairs of jeans that I'll go with 
the dark wash pair of jeans, the light wash pair of jeans, and then the thicker pair of jeans, which I'll have to show you guys that later because, like I said, babe is sleeping. <laughs> um, and then I have this other pants that I would like to... Oh, yes. Okay. So, right now, I have... Okay, so I'm just writing... I'm writing down here what's going on here and local sweater then uh, shopping I might wear jeans and the Adidas sweater oh my gosh and the Stan Smith maybe and then the power line would most definitely be jeans like the way dark jeans um and maybe a top that I get that day and then shopping evening line oh so there's a jeans on another top a lot of jeans on tops if you're doing brown it'll be that Versace vibe top with jeans and then the rocket I'm probably gonna wear the dress with um a coat and then this is gonna be a random day so a chill outfit and then another chill outfit and then this is gonna be a whole day so another chill outfit <laughs> and then <clears throat> the airport get up I think I'm going to have to write down what I just told y'all in terms of my outfit compilations. Okay, why am I so dark? I'm going to make a list of the other things that I have to pack. So toiletries, makeup, brushes, makeup remover. Okay, bags, because I'm going to have to have bag options. Um, the shoes to go, then I have to have um, jewelry. Then we're going to have to have... We don't necessarily need hair products because I'm doing my hair on Thursday. <clears throat> Literally, my hair appointment is at, I think, 3 o'clock and I have to be in the airport at 8 p.m. Is it at 3? Because if it's at 4, that might be cutting it a bit too close. 3 p.m. Great. 3 p.m. Then I have to carry my laptop, my laptop charger, the port and the USB cards. I have to carry my camera and my lens. That's why I need my camera. Then I have to carry what else do you need to go? Oh, I have to pick up a scarf from my room. Passport, vaccine card. Okay. So I think that's what we have for right now. By the end of today, I need to be more mostly complete with the packing. But also today we are going to selfie space. It's a uh, I think I've been open since earlier this year. It's basically a area that has, I think it's like 15 and different like backdrops or sets. So it can allow people to like come take pictures, create content, do stuff. And I mean, it is Christmas. And they've been, like I said, they've been in effect or in existence since earlier this year. Um, I didn't go earlier this year, but they've changed the sets around for Christmas time and it's definitely an easier way for me to get content for me to post on Instagram during Christmas. Um, so I have to organize to do that. Let's talk about it. So I have, they have like 15 sets, like I said, but I honestly, I, it's only one hour. So I'm just going to do as much as I can without getting flustered in that one hour. So the first option that I'm definitely going to be wearing is this green dress that I would have got from Pretty Little Thing a while ago. Um, I would have, you guys, that, that is a hole in my channel and I've never worn a dress, never had a reason to. Even when I go today and take pictures in this, the tag is probably still going to remain on. But this is a green dress, so definitely could give Christmas vibes, so I'm wearing that. Then for another one of these sets, I'm going to be wearing this. Red Christmas sweater, which is from a local guy called Individual. I'll leave his, um, well, I'll leave the tags for the selfie space and Individual down below. So I'm thinking to wear this with like a jean short, like a real casual chill vibe. A jean short and sneakers with that. Then I do have this very sexy black dress, but I don't think I'll be wearing this one. Because honestly, it is even hot. Like, look at how short this is. Where even is it? It's like right here. I'm probably not gonna wear that. I'm going to get this over my head, it'll disrupt everything. So I may not wear that. But I feel like I definitely should go with like four outfits. So I have those two. I don't know. But I definitely feel like I should get two more outfits to wear. Like 
one more because right now I have like dressy then I have casual dressy not even casual dressy casual so I feel like I should do a shirt and jean option I do have a white shirt actually so I could probably do something with that because we have to be there for 4.30 so that's honestly besides me actually having to wash my hair that's why i'm getting started with it so early and in addition to that i have to remove all the hair from my body like yeah and then my pits my legs are horrible as well so i'm going to be dealing with that today too right now recently i've just been because you guys would have seen me before i waxed my upper lip at home and then i also threaded my upper lip at home but now that threaded thing is too much for me so i literally just use the razor let me just get some rubbing alcohol so yeah i'm just gonna remove all the hair from my body today right so i just used some rubbing alcohol and wiped my top lip honestly it's not that serious but look at how can you see it yeah it's a lot oh don't study my nail <laughs> it literally came off so i'm just gonna stick it back on just for today but hopefully i don't know i'll see i either need to just because i honestly wanted to do over my nails to be like a more red kind of color because this isn't really during Christmas you know but I don't think I'll have the time to bleach but I feel like I most definitely have to do over these two from scratch and honestly I am working with my nail file so if any of the others type decide to play up I'll just file them all off Great, so that's it. All the hair is on my hand. And then we just wipe that down. And now, time to fix up my eyebrows. You know what I need to do? I most definitely need to wash my makeup brushes before we go. But I have to put on makeup today, so I'll wash them tomorrow <laughs> oh and i have to pack my skincare but that's not gonna be hard i'll definitely make a talk back on the packing later with you guys um this vlog might be a long one i just really want to find my spoolie don't know if that me spoolie but on me eyebrows don't I can't tell you the last time the last time I spent money to do my eyebrows so what I do quick toot I basically learned how to do this off of YouTube and probably from well I mean you, you can't really see anything when you go to get your eyebrows done huh? but yeah so you brush down the eyebrow and then underneath here whatever kind of falls outside of the line is what I cut off except my eyebrows really are not bad right now did I do them recently? I think I probably did a little thing recently and then brush it upwards and you see if you brush it up do you see? like these up here this is what i'll cut off what's irritating me is that i don't have any contact lenses for this trip i'm not ashamed of wearing glasses but i would definitely not wear them <laughs> if i had the option Just like that. Right. I also have to figure out what to cook today. And then not put any thought into it. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and I'll catch you guys a little bit later. And I'll catch you guys a little bit later. 
Hey guys, so as you can see, a, a lot of time has passed. Um, I did like a flexi, not flexi rod. Let me show you what I use. Perm rod. Back on my hair, kind of. Using this one. Um, when I washed my hair, I took out the curler. Like as I took out the curler, I then put in one of those to give it a bit more of a like a tighter curl. And honestly, my hair felt good. And the curls looked cute, but I think I have to learn, even though I love how curly hair looks on me, not really in this, um, I have to learn how to really take care of it because there's a lot of frizz happening on top here. Anyway, this is how much new growth I have going on, and I'm supposed to be doing my hair on Thursday, so that's that. Um, but yeah. So I back home, went to selfie space, it was a good, it was cool, it was cool. Um, kind of honestly, kind of like flew through the, the set. We did reach there like about five to ten minutes late, um, but it was good. I think we got a good few shots, um, so success. Right now and we have to cook because we have to eat food and I have to take off my makeup and I have to get right back into the packing situation. So I'll pick that back up with you guys in a few. I also have to clean in here because what is this mess? But once everything is like packed, then the face should definitely look a bit clearer. But my table right now from the makeup, <laughs> yeah. Y'all, I'm so tired. It's like 9. What time is it? 9.40? 9.54. On a Sunday evening. I still have on my makeup. But I am committed to the cause. I have to feel like I've made headway in my packing situation. And so that is what we are going to do. I was going to make a cup of tea, <laughs> but instead we have pressure crab. Alright, so this is my toiletries bag. Um, this pretty much holds everything in here. It pretty much stays in here. Um, I probably should change out this toothbrush, but <laughs> I'll change that out later when, like, when I come back. And then I have my body soap in here, and then my skincare would be like down here. Um, this is my travel size of the survey. So honestly, literally, I wasn't planning on it, but <laughs> I was just gonna put some of my face wash in here because I mean it's the same thing. It's a travel size container. Boom! I literally sat there and I pumped 14 pumps plus a few extra because we're going for basically seven days. I'm gonna wash my face twice a day. Like it makes sense, and I'm gonna take the hyaluronic acid. Oh, good molecules. Um, definitely, I feel like the cold weather will dry out my skin. So, I should probably actually use this over the next few days while I'm here. And then on the day of, I'll pack it in. Um, but basically, oh, and I, need, I usually have an in-house toothpaste, but I have to replace that, so... This is gonna go in here. This is my toiletries bag. Got that from Ross. I'm pretty sure. And so that's gonna go in here. I really want to take this, but I think I need to wash it because I wore it this week. And then I have to pack my shoes. Like I'm throwing everything in here now, but I'm most likely gonna like repack the suitcase. Alright, I've showed you guys my shoes and everything already. So we have these sneakers, these flats, these sneakers, these boots, and those are the shoes I have. I'm probably gonna take one pair of heels just in case it's feasible. I think I'm gonna take a black one. I'm gonna take this heel from Miss Lola as a just in case. Um and that'll be my shoes and once I get there I'm gonna probably want to get a pair of like taller boots whether it be a heeled boot or 
a flat boot. We'll see, but I'm getting a pair of boots for sure. Okay, so I'm starting over with an empty suitcase. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch Silent Sunset while I pack. So, empty suitcase. Holidays are coming round now. Winter is here. My favorite time of the year. I could get close to my dear, my baby. I could feel the breeze coming through. I could see, see me and you cuddled up. I don't necessarily have like a underwear bag. So <laughs> this bag that I got from my Lola shoe order is gonna be my underwear bag. It won't take long for you to come around and fall in love This book is way too thick, I can't even see you there Cuddle up, put it in the air Christmas trees, we don't need Let's just bake and roll these leaves Let me take your stress away It's the Hot Pucks Holiday Hot Pucks Holiday so I'm taking out the makeup. Honestly, I am gonna be wearing my glasses, so I'm not even going. But I am carrying this palette. Um, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I have these new items that I've had for probably a full year in regards to this. And this I probably have like two years now. <laughs> so hopefully it's good. So I'm gonna take it. With me, I have no idea what I'm putting my makeup in though, like storage. I also don't know what I'm putting my brushes in, but I also have to. Hi guys, so it is over. What day is this? It's Thursday, right? Um, it's been a few days. I planned everything as far as I'm concerned down to a T, and of course, it did not happen the way I expected it to because today I was supposed to be calm, everything was supposed to be packed, it was just supposed to be last minute stuff. I still would like to repack my suitcase because I want to make sure what I have in there. Um, I still have to put my makeup brushes in my bag. Um, I feel like I still have, I, I don't have quite a lot to do, but just because I still have stuff to do, I'm not yet feeling too flustered, but I'm low-key flustered. So right now it is 10.41 in the a.m. Um, you guys have seen my nails in the earlier parts of this vlog. Well, I did them over. So because the the um the browns are nice but it wasn't given like for like winter and Christmas. So I just it's really not even the best because the index fingers on both my hands can't come off. So I needed to do over those anyway. So I did that and this is what we came up with. Anyway, so that's that. So at least my nails are done. Um, I have a hair appointment at three o'clock today. So right now, the plan is to finalize the packing situation. I do have a little bit of a haul, so let's get into that. I'm still hungry, my belly is rumbling. I washed my brushes yesterday, so they finally dry. Alright, so basically what happened was I went to the farm because I needed to get stuff. Um, I really just needed to get toothpaste because my toiletries bag toothpaste was finished and they didn't have a toothpaste like this size so I just ended up buying a big one. So I got, this is actually very long but I got this toothpaste from Aquafresh that I have used before. I'm so hungry. It's actually ridiculous. This is so long. Anyway, this is it. So I got a toothpaste. And then I also saw this. So I picked it up. It's a dual texture body exfoliator. Um, it says one scrubber. Two. There's a fly in here and I don't understand how. One scrubber, two textures. Um, so one side is well just softer than the other. And I think... Do we have a scissors in here? I'm so hungry. Right, so this is how it looks. And then it has the 
thing here so you can hold the sun scrub so i'm actually just gonna take this because i mean the city dude stuff you know goodbye then uh, um i actually saw this this is like a portable water pick um so yeah so it comes with this and then 15 replacements so i decided to pick it up it was like 93 dollars and then of course i got batteries to go with it can you travel with batteries because i do plan to carry that with me i picked up a few advil um just to have just in case because you never know who might get a headache i also picked up tape and this roll of um wrapping paper because it's christmas we have gifts to wrap and i also wanted uh another bag to help with my makeup um because this is what i pack my makeup in so far but like my i don't think i have any lip products in here oh i do have two lipsticks but like my lip gloss is not in here my satin spray is not in here and my eyeshadow palette is not in here um i mean i'm not too sure if i even really use the palette so i might just leave that here um, and use like my bronzer powder and highlighter to do any eye makeup um, but in the mix because super farm honestly used to have options of makeup bags and bags but this time they didn't have any so I actually found this in the men's section um, and this is exactly something I would want it's hard well plastic so it will be easy to clean because I mean it is makeup so it would get dirty so it would be easy to clean and it's you know kind of structured and a reasonable size so I got this was like 60 something dollars so yeah I don't know what this piece of plastic in here is but whatever so that's this and that's my small scoop arm haul right now you guys I want to have you here with me but I feel like I feel like I just need to focus. Um, besides that, we did the, we all did our antigen test yesterday. Of course, gratefully, we're all negative. Um, I'm finished charge already. So yeah, but yeah, I feel like I just need to focus on this. Um, and I'm not really trying to build up too much memory on the card right now because i spent most of my morning like clearing up this memory card and the other one i have a 256 gigabyte memory card and a 128 gigabyte memory card both of them are full so i spent the morning taking off like videos and pictures from them um so i'm not really trying to build it up before i get back i get out head out to new york but yeah so that is just an update of what's going on um all right you guys so it is just about i think um maybe like 20 back two um my hair appointment like i said is at three so i am ready oh I'm not showing you that so i am ready um, I'm gonna head to the mall first before my appointment. Sorry, not returning half, but to get them to take off the thing. This thing. <laughs> I should probably carry this in a bag. <clears throat> but yeah, so I am heading out to get that done. And then I will be headed to my hair appointment. Which I said at 3 o'clock, Glory knows, I told her already, <laughs> that I have a to be in the airport for 8. Um, so everything should be on time, hopefully, because uh, I'm not really trying to rush when I come back home. And my hair usually takes like 3 hours to do, so, yeah. Let's travel through. A tiny thing is not fun at all. So, I told you we did our antigen test yesterday, and uh, I got one of these, a cheese thingy. I had some to home, I'm hungry. Now it's at like half ten. It's almost three o'clock. Anyway. You guys know what the situation is with this other um, 
thing who decided to join the party recently and so now Maria, one of the girls I'm traveling with just sent that um, the US is going to be tightening their testing window to, so instead of three days before your flight one day I just need to make sure that that's not happening from today or tomorrow because our tests were done yesterday which is two days so Okay, so I just got back home. It is about what time is it? Six thirty. What time is it? Six thirty. It's actually six thirty-seven. Um, right. So I just got back home. My hair is done. We did a little trim, but you guys will see that when I take my hair down because best believe this hair is staying in this wrap. I shall be going to the airport and on the plane with this wrap in my head. I can't get over it, I'll turn it off the light. He's sleeping in there. Anyway, so I'm gonna preliminarily, because I have not tried to lift my suitcase as yet, so I'm gonna close it to see what it's giving. I mean, I bathed before I went to the hairdresser and all I did was pack the mall and then sit down in a very cold salon. So like high key, I don't want to bathe again. Cause that was like four hours ago. The only reason I might bathe again is because the next time I'll bathe in is tomorrow morning. Which is, it really isn't that long, you know. It's not that far away from now. Because check in at the Airbnb is at like 12 o'clock. Oh my god, really. It's not early. I don't think it's early. Nice. Check in at the Airbnb. We get to check in early, which is 12 o'clock. I don't feel like that's early, but I guess it's earlier than 3 o'clock, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys. So that's pretty much it. The last few things to do, it's half seven. I mean, it's half six. So I think I'll leave home by like half seven. Um, I'll just check with Zakia because she's meeting with Maria in St. Augustine. So I'll kind of gauge when Zakia is leaving home so that we could reach the airport at a similar time because I don't really want to reach there and be waiting by myself because homeboy said he's not parking in the car park <laughs> so that's that so it's just to wrap up the little things pack my bag my laptop is gonna have to go in here um and i feel like i don't feel flustered like i feel fine um so that's good and yeah, 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 yeah. I just have to pass back by my parents to pick up my other glasses frames and say, see you in a week. And I probably have to pass my grandparents to and tell them, see you in a week. And I guess if we pass by everybody else, pass by my brother and say, see you in a week. But I saw them last night, so I'll, I could probably video call them. And yeah, so thanks for watching this video, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of anxious, but I'm also kind of excited. But I'm not trying to think about it until I actually get to New York. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully we have a great trip. Well, not hopefully, we are going to have a great trip. Not too sure how I'm going to organize the vlog. I might do like a part one and part two. Definitely, it won't be a daily vlog. I don't think I'll get that much footage each day but we'll see how it goes and however it goes you guys will get it but thanks for tuning in hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'll see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day five i think it's day five bye guys <laughs>